In today's video, I attempt to personalize a brand new stocking for Duke. Will I succeed? Stay tuned to find out. As you can see, I have myself laid out for what I think what I need to do this project. What I want to do is put Duke's name up here somehow. And that's where these are going to come in. Red and green, glue, just in case. I don't use hot glue. I don't trust myself with a hot glue gun. Let's put it like that. I have this that's got a lot of glitter in it. But I don't think that's going to look good. Should have got the gold one instead of this one. And I have this. I'm thinking the material here could be used to make the letters. Otherwise, I'm just going to get some felt letters. I want to put a gold ribbon at the bottom right here. And you're going to follow along as I attempt this possible hot mess. Stay tuned. Change of plans here. I was able to go to the store and get this red plaid ribbon right here which I think goes very well with our stocking instead of using a green marker I'm gonna go ahead and use a black marker red and black and I'm gonna try to put the name up here and what I want to do is take this try to make a bow out of it you get the point kind of like that what do you guys think great idea I found this this is a ornament hook that I'm going to use I'm probably gonna put it through the ribbon and then kind of attach it to the back. Use a little bit of glue to secure it. But first, I'm going to try to put the name on it. I'm going to try to like make an outline in one color and fill it in with the other. Before going any further in this video, I want to let you know that you're going to have to be careful. In the original video, I mentioned about using markers in order to make the name. Well, a year later and this is what the markers do. They bleed. So what I did to rectify this was to look for ribbon that matches the pattern of the bow that matches the pattern that is right here. So everything's based off of this color scheme, this color pattern, this uh, red and black checkerboard. I was lucky enough to find these for a dollar at a dollar store. I cut the ribbon, as you can see into letter shapes. I have the D, U, K, E. I've cut out the letters, I've spelled out his name, putting the letters going down and to the side, as you can see. This is what it's going to look like once it's finished. You're gonna need a hot glue gun to do this, so be careful. It's not perfect by any means or any stretch of the imagination. You're going to see me talk about markers, but remember, markers will bleed. This is permanent marker. I had no idea this was going to bleed, so this is my fault. This is on me. So this is the idea to rectify it. Hot glue and a ribbon spelling out the name. If you have a, if you have felt lettering and you know how to do the felt lettering on something like this, then that's also a good idea, but I would use the black felt letters if you're going to use felt letters because they'll probably stand out a little bit more than this does for now it's ribbon in a checkerboard pattern checkerboard giant checkerboard ribbon here to match this checkerboard pattern because if you go ahead and use the markers this is going to be the end result for the next year it will bleed and it will look kind of like that it's going to end up looking pretty ugly and depending on how many letters you have uh, for the name, it's just be a lot easier to use a nickname for the person. Like if it's uh, a short nickname, nickname, you can do that. Makes it a lot easier. But we're doing stockings for our pets. If our pet has a short name, this is easy to do. And you really do not have to have the name if you don't want to either. So that rectifies that situation. On with the video. That's not looking half bad at all. Funny thing about that red is that the color is bleeding in. That's gonna be hard to get off. There, that's the name on it. It looks pretty good. 
Except the E is a little too short for what it's worth. It's good enough. Now my goal is to somehow turn this into like a bow, which I don't think is going to work that well. Let's try putting it through since we have this part. Oh well, it came out. Okay, this might be harder than it looks. Alright, that's pretty much the ribbon I have. What I did was try pulling it over and squishing it in the middle and taking the ornament clip, twisting it at the top and smashing it down a bit. So now I have this long ribbon, which I now need to attach here. What I did was I took some of this glue, put a big dollop on the back, and put some on the top right here because of that wire. And once it dries, it should hold up. But these ribbons here are going to get cut off. This was the effect I was going for, really. On this end, but you know, let's see if I go this way with it. There we go. I can fix this. Ta-da! Yeah, the glue didn't stay. Here's what I decided to go ahead and do. To cover up this, right here, that wire that's on the inside that's holding it together, I took a piece of the extra, folded it like this, measured it to the exact length that I needed it, wrapped it around the outside like that, then I took some of that glue, and let that dry overnight and see what happens. And then I'm going to find a new way of attaching it to right here. Because essentially, this is what I want it to do. I want it to be right here. I want it to kind of, you know, kind of like that. But I need to do this. Finish this in the morning. So right now, the project is on hold until that glue dries. Well, as you can see the string in the needle, the glue didn't exactly work. I sewed it at the bottom, right here. And I'll have enough string left that I'm going to attach it to my spot right here. Kind of set it where you want to put it, and then you're going to sew it right there. We're going to adjust the ribbon a little later. And I'm going to go ahead and put that together, and I'll show you the finished product. And there's your finished product. I sewed it to the stocking itself. Underneath, I'm going to show you. That's the sewing, and I went ahead and put a dab of glue on the sewing part itself. Just to be on the safe side, so it doesn't undo. But I sewed it pretty tight for what I could see. It's not a long project, but it is something you can do with your kids at home, since we're all stuck at home anyway. It's something else you guys can do. Have fun doing your own personalized stocking. Try this project for yourselves and show us how you did your personalized stocking. We'd love to see it. If you enjoyed our video, let us know what your favorite part was in the comments below. For more Sweet Little Duke, check out this playlist right over here. And don't forget to drop us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell to be notified when we put out a brand new video. We post Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Central Time and would love to have you as part of our YouTube troupe. Thanks for watching. Later.